Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an issue that says the file is open in another program. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to be walking you guys through how to hopefully resolve this fairly quickly. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by putting a little disclaimer out there that this should work for Windows 7 and Windows 8 users. For Windows 10 however, anything above Windows 10 Professional Edition, so Professional Education Enterprise along those lines. So the big exclusion of that would be Windows 10 Home Edition and that's because we're going to be going through the local group policy editor so I just wanted to put that out there or local security policy editor. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up that program. So you want to open up the start menu and type in group policy and one of the best match that comes up on Windows 10 should say edit group policy and you want to open that up by left clicking on it one time Windows 7 and Windows 8 users should have a similar experience. Expand the window a little bit here. So now underneath user configuration, you want to go and left click on the administrative templates folder right here. And now you want to left click on the Windows components folder on the right side and double click on it. And now on Windows 7 and Windows 8, you're going to be looking for a folder that says Windows Explorer. If you scroll down here, you can see that I don't have one here because I'm on Windows 10. In that case, I'm going to go up to File Explorer here, and you want to double click on it. Again, if you don't see File Explorer, you want to go underneath Windows Explorer and vice versa. And then near the top, there should be something that says Turn off the caching of thumbnails in hidden thumbnails.db files. You want to double click on that, or click on Policy Setting right next to Edit right here. You can do that as well to open up this screen. And you want to select Enabled right here. Click Apply and OK. At this point you can close out of the local group policy editor. And then I recommend you restart your computer and then hopefully your issue has been resolved at this point. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.